Okay, hey guys, back again, ready to pull some orders. Uh, you know, if you watched my last video, I didn't finish pulling my orders. I had just come back from my trip to Connecticut, my vacation for Thanksgiving, and I just, I ran out of energy, really. I got so tired, I just crashed immediately. I mean, I was like, <laughs> this isn't something I normally do, but I woke up at like 3 a.m. like with drool. That's how tired I was, it was I was drooling. I'm not a drooler. But you know, and there's a delicious thought for you, nice early in the morning, if you're watching this early in the morning. But yeah, that was uh, that was how tired I was. I was literally drooling. I was so tired. <laughs> uh, but last we spoke, I had pulled this doggo that sold for 60 bucks on eBay. And then I pulled my Poshmark orders, which I cross-listed with Vendu. And the Poshmark orders were a Lighthouse and a VCR. And I also sold something on Mercari because of my Vendu cross-listing. I have a bunch more that I sold on eBay. So lots of orders to pull. Uh, one of them says it's in location on display, meaning I just set it up to look pretty somewhere. But where did I set it on display? This is the ultimate question. Hmm, it's some sort of Stranger Things Funko Pop. Did my daughter take it? It's possible. No, here it is. Here it is. Right next to my E.T. plushie. Okay, so this guy sold. This is uh, Eleven and a Demi Gorgon kind of like fighting in the school. Uh, Hawkins High, Hawkins Elementary, I don't know what it's called. I think this was season one, so maybe Hawkins Middle. Either way, that sold for 10 bucks. Had it listed higher, uh, took a best offer for 10, plus shipping. $8 in shipping on that one. Actually, that was a bit of a compromise, that order, with a viewer. Because, oh, I dropped this golf club last time. <laughs> I just finished editing that. Uh, basically, we sent something for our whatnot, our Christmas whatnot, and it broke in the mail. And instead of dealing with UPS or USPS about trying to get a credit or whatever, they asked if they could just have a discount off of this. I think I had it listed for $18 or something like that. And so I said, yeah, that's fine. Send me an offer and I'll take it. And that is what I did. I figured it was easier than trying anything else. Now, where is my ABC mat shelf? There it is. I see the item that sold. I sold a super shooter. Which is like a little candy maker or a cookie maker. This like is one of those things that always sells right around Christmas time if you ever pick them up. They don't sell for a ton though, so don't pay much. I think I bought it for five or less. No, I was with my mom. She found it and we paid two or less. It might have even been one dollar. <laughs> it was very cheap. Sold it for $22 plus ship. Shipping was $11.80. I've heard that you can sell those around Christmas time for $40, $50, $60. $60. I don't know. I've never sold them for more than $30 personally, but... I think if you time it right, you might be able to get a little more for it. I also sold this Harley garage door opener, which it like, I don't know if it mounts on your bike. Yeah, it mounts on your bike and then it lets you open your garage door from your bike. It was brand new. The guy got it as a gift. I got it at his garage sale. He said he had never installed it. It looks good. I opened it and checked this time. It does look brand, it does look brand new. He charged up for that a little bit. I can't remember what. I think $10 is what I paid for it. And I paid... Uh, and I sold it for $80 plus shipping. I don't know, I can't remember a lot of the, the prices I paid for things right now because I haven't edited any footage for my picker videos in like a month and a half. <laughs> like to the point where I'm like completely out of uh, videos and I really need to focus on it, but I have all these other things that are more urgent that I have to work on. So I'm kind of struggling with priorities at the moment, but so I don't remember what I bought. I'll, I'll know when I edit my picker video, which this is one of the first ones I'll have to edit. So I will know soon. Probably by the time this goes live, I'll already know if I was wrong when I said $10. But yeah, I don't know. I just let it get away from me. Like, I just haven't touched any of that footage in so long at this point because I've been so incredibly busy with everything else. And it's not slowing down this week because... And now this is probably going to come out Monday based on how my schedule's looking. Tiny Bin 3, I sold a remote control. Uh, but this is probably going to come out Monday. And... And I've got my big whatnot auction coming up Friday, which I'm going to live stream on the channel. That will have already happened. Hopefully it went well. Hopefully I sold a lot. Hopefully I've already got everything shipped by the time you're watching this. But I, I thought of something. I had an epiphany. All right, this Bose remote sold. I got it at a garage sale recently. Sold it for $34.99 plus shipping. Actually, I got the Bose speakers and the remote, I think, for $5. <laughs> so crazy cheap. It might have been... I can't remember what I paid for anything because I haven't edited. Normally, like, when I edit, it kind of sticks in my head what I paid for something, but I just can't remember. I paid 5 to $15, let's say that. I remember talking her down. I specifically remember talking her down. It was the only thing at her yard sale. I got the speakers, too, and I remember the remote was going to get me way in the profit. Show the speakers. Up there, the speakers. I remember just the remote was going to get me way in the profit, so I didn't pay much. The remote sold for 35 Anyways, this idea I had. So I was talking last time about how Mike, the death pile picker, left all this Christmas stuff at my house, right? He left 
three bin, two bins and a giant Christmas tree box full of Christmas stuff. And he said, oh, you know, just sell it or whatever. And I'm just like, oh, I don't want to sell like all this Christmas stuff. And I just had this idea. Callie was in here asking me, dad, when can we set up for Christmas? I think I'm just going to tell her, hey, go through those bins and just go set up all that stuff in our house, you know, because she wants to set up for Christmas. It's genius. She then is doing the work for me. She's getting it out of my garage. It's also solving the problem of like her wanting decorations up. I don't have to go in the attic right now because I've got all these decorations that Mike left. It's a win-win. Oh, this is huge. Okay, I sold a uh, monorail from Disney. Now I did take this out and ensure it had all the pieces. Oof, let's see, can I safely bring this over here? The old head carry is what this is. I had this idea too about moving my computer over here. I wonder if I'd regret it. It is nice to have it here for when I pull orders. But that's the only time it's nice. So this is what's sold. Like I said, it's a Disney monorail 50th anniversary. The box is in bad shape, but I did take it all apart and all the pieces were there. So I listed that for $80 and that went ahead and sold. Now, got this at the flea market. That video is probably gonna go live tomorrow, if I'm remembering correctly. And in that video, I did talk him down, I believe to 35, sold it for 80. Eh, I don't really know if it was worth it. It was easy to list, it was fun to set up. So I didn't really mind listing it and testing it, but still it's not great profit selling it for 80, paying 35, eh. Meh is what I say to that sale. But yeah, I was gonna say in the last video, but I decided to bring it up in this video instead. I sold something on Mercari and there's an exciting thing that has now happened with Mercari on the Vendu front. So Vendu is the thing I use to cross list. Cross listing is the thing you use to post from eBay to other platforms. You have to like explain 10 words just to get to the point. Uh, and so anyways, I've been using Vendu and they have been sponsoring. Ooh, I just sold something else. That might've been a Mercari sale. It was. I just sold something on Mercari. How timely. Cha-ching, your Mr. Heater sold. Okay. So, okay, what should happen if my computer... Let me open my computer, because you do have to, like, go into Chrome every now and then to make sure that the uh, the thing is working, but it should automatically do it. I don't know how long it takes, but because of the new feature they've added, I sold it on Mercari. It should go automatically delist eBay and Poshmark, where I had it cross-listed, because it just sold on, on Mercari. That's that's the new feature that they've added now. Now let me see. I don't know if it's that fast. Mr. Heater. Let's see if it picked it up yet. No, but it was 10 seconds ago. What's the thing that sold a day ago? We're gonna check that one. Let me roll around my garage here. Urea cream. I don't know what that is. U-R-E-A cream. All right. It's got a little yellow mark on it. It says, what it should do, and I don't think it will have done it for the Mr. Heater yet, but what it should do is it should auto delist it now with the new feature in Vendu, which is in beta. So I'm not 100% sure it'll work. Getting your latest items. Oh, it's refreshing right now. Vendu's refreshing. Uh, but anyways, let's talk about the sale, then we'll come back to that. $13 for this. Where did it? Actually, I can go on eBay too and see if it's not listed anymore. <sighs> I know I'm all over the place, but uh, I'll tell you, once again, eBay is holding my money once again, and it's for the same thing because there's a problem with my W9. IRS is complaining about my business name, so I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm a little concerned about it. I have to like reach out to my accountant and try to figure out the right way to do it because I tried to, to submit everything they wanted and they're still saying that there's an issue with my account and that they can't pay me out. So I'm a little stressed about it. Uh, I emailed him, hopefully he emails me back. All right, it's not working. So the, the Mercari cross listing or delisting is not working for me yet, but I might not have it set up right either because this item's still showing listed. Mook's treasure trove. Let me grab that. Oh, is that FedEx? If this is FedEx, it could be my graded comics. Let's go see. I'm so excited about those. I think they're gonna come today. Well, whoever it was, they drove by really fast and didn't stop. So it must not have been FedEx. All right, so in Mook's, Mook's treasure trove. <laughs> here we've got this stuff i think we sold both of them and it has not delisted yet from from ebay i'm gonna delist it manually uh urea cream salic acid i don't know what this is some sort of makeup thing uh 10 bucks for the set though five bucks a piece i got a little yard sale super cheap a while back not a great profit but at least i'm recouping some of my money anyways all this was supposed to be me telling you that now auto delist is working from mercari to ebay meaning if you sell something on mercari with Vendu, it will auto delist it from eBay and Posh. It doesn't seem to be working yet, but it's in beta, she told me. So 
I think it was December 3rd that it comes out fully and should be working. And it's still November 29th for me. So by the time you watch this, it should be live. Anyways, all that to say, are you crowdsourcing? If you're not, you should. Vendu is the way to do it. It literally is the best crowdsourcing app. It has the most features, most functionality. And I'm telling you, having to go and manually delist stuff is a huge pain in the butt. So just the fact that you can do the crosslisting and the auto delist with Vendu makes it worth your while. But the other thing is got an app and you can do it while you're sitting in your car or sitting at a doctor's appointment. You can literally cross list with like a click of a button to these other platforms. And again, with Poshmark, I've now had stuff on there for like two weeks. I've sold three items. Grand total for those three items, I think is a hundred something dollars. I've been selling on Mercari, not while I was on vacation because I took down my listings while I was on vacation, but the thing pays, Vendu pays for itself so fast. And once you get it all cross-listed, it's just a matter of cross-listing the new stuff. Now, I will say the Poshmark cross-listing is like one click for me, literally one click and a cross-list to Poshmark. It's so, so easy. Mercari takes more like, I don't know, 30 seconds to cross-list something, maybe 20. <laughs> Either way, it's not that bad. I recommend Vendu. Use my link down below. That'll help me out. That'll help Vendu see that I'm sending some people their way. Um, and I totally do not regret using Vendu, signing up for Vendu. It has always made me more than the monthly cost of the platform every single month since I started using it in June. So why wait? I mean, maybe you don't have time to crosslist right now. That's fine. But I will say, I see a lot of people say, oh yeah, I tried crosslisting and nothing happened. Like you can't just try it for like three days and crosslist 10 items, right? Mercari, Poshmark, they're all wanting attention, just like eBay, right? And they reward you for frequently listing, frequently sharing on Poshmark, all that stuff. And you have to do all that stuff if you actually want it to work. I will say, I tried Poshmark VA. That seems to be working. But last night I signed up for Flip. Well, I already had signed up, but I reconnected my Flip account to my Poshmark. And there's a Poshmark share on Flip, F-L-Y-P. Uh, I think I still have a referral code for Flip, too. It's free, though. But I think you still can use my link for some benefit. I can't remember what. <laughs> uh, it helps me, I think. I get, like, an Amazon gift card for five, ten bucks. Ten bucks? I haven't gotten one in a long time. Ten bucks uh, if you sign up using my link if you haven't used Flip yet. But Flip is completely free. F-L-Y-P. And it does the Poshmark sharing. And I set that up last night, and it was actually easier to use than Posture VA. So I don't know. Anyone who uses Posture VA, tell me why I would want to use that instead of Flip. Because Flip seems to do the same thing, but for more free. <sighs> That's all the all the pitching I can stomach in one day, guys. Whew. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. I can stomach a little more. Can't you? 31 total orders, including the stuff I pulled last time. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I have so many orders. It's not a bad thing. Uh, shelf one bottom, 26789. I'm almost out of trains, guys. I'm almost out. I'm tempted to put all the trains in one spot. Uh, because they're still like spread out, but... They don't need to be. If I put them all together, they'd probably all fit uh, in this one spot behind me. But I have them in like three separate spots. I feel like I might do that. I might just put all the trains there. Uh, this is one that sold. It's another Christmas one, I believe. Chris Kringle Chase Gondola, $27.99. Oops, it got confused because it lost my face. $27.99 plus shipping for that Lionel train. I mean, I've got what, like probably 10 over there, six up there, and eight over there. So I think I'll I'll probably put them all together at some point. That'll clear off some shelf space for me. Up next is Wit of Wits End Board Game over here. Okay, so we sold this. Oh, I sold something on Dibdit too, which is a whole nother thing I need to talk about actually. Wits End Board Game, brand new seal. Sold this for $13.99 plus shipping. Shipping was $12.95. So it was almost the same price to ship it as it was to buy it. The shipping stuff is getting crazy. USPS is like jacking up the rates again in January. I was just sitting there thinking like, there's gonna be a day on this channel where we're like, oh, I sold that ground advantage, four ounce item, shipping's $9.99. Like, can't can you just see it? Like, there's gonna be this day where you can't ship anything for under 10 bucks. <sighs> Don't get me started on USPS. I'm angry at them anyways. I'm angry at them because they called me out on my nonsense. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Not a real good reason to be angry at them. Really, I'm the one at fault. Uh, okay, so I sold a bunch of ducks. Quacktastic ducks here. Uh, one, uh, maybe I'll put the camera down. There's a whole bunch of these. Or maybe not. These are Avon ducks. I blame Tina. I blame Tina for buying these ducks. Uh, you know, I usually know not to buy Avon stuff, but... <laughs> no, Tina, Tina was right in a sense. I made a profit on them, but they weren't as good as we thought at the garage sale. I'll say that. And I have to take partial blame for them as well because I miscomped them. For some reason, I thought these were worth a lot more, and they were not. Anyways, these are little Avon ducks. They were a buck a piece, 
and I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of them, they're from 1983. So I paid $7 for seven. And uh, you know, they're cute, they're cute little ducks. And we sold them for $17.19 plus shipping. So we made a profit. We did make a profit. It's just not as much as I was hoping for. For some reason, when we comped them at the garage sale, we were convinced they were worth like 40 bucks for the set, maybe 50. Uh, and we were just way off, so. Got to keep keep remembering the don't buy Avon thing, Dave. Uh, oh, this video is going to be long. So I sold this Mickey Mouse plush. It's a really cool one. And it sold for decent money. $37.79 for this plushie. It's a Mickey Mouse. And it's right over here. How did I end up with one of these? Little United States things. I need to... <laughs> I don't actually know how I got that. But I need to give it back to them. Uh, let's see here. Which one is he? I've got all these really nice Mickey plushes over here. This is one that sold. Pretty cool. He's got like the... Um, fireworks all over him i think it's called the grand finale mickey mouse from the 50th anniversary walt disney world oh it's called castle fireworks sold him for 37.79 free shipping not too bad i i have to ship all this stuff today too that's like yeah that's a good mickey plush we see it. i paid five bucks around five bucks a plush when it was all said and done but uh, it's been worthwhile for sure i did sell a taylor swift cd as well uh, this tote, or this bin is pretty full. I think, actually, I'm going to pull this out, too, because I think I sold that and this, both in the same bin. Yeah, I did. So this is a Taylor Swift CD. This is the one you want to look out for. There's two that you want to look out for. This is one of them. Speak Now, World Tour Target Exclusive 2011, $44.99, free shipping on that one. So $45 Taylor Swift CD. And then this Landshark Lager uh, Beer Tap. I paid about a buck a piece for the beer taps, and I've already sold several. This one sold for $40 uh, free shipping as well. So two basically $40 sales, really quick and fast and in a hurry. The Taylor Swift album I paid, I think, 50 cents for. All right, and then we also sold a train. A lot of people don't buy trains, and I even passed on them the other day, and I was like sitting there the whole time saying, why didn't I buy those? Because I know I can sell them. But I just wasn't feeling like buying toys at the on that day. There was this yard sale. They had all these toys. But this thing happened where my camera died while I was there. It like overheated and it made this loud noise. And it was like super embarrassing. And I just wanted to get out of there because I was embarrassed by my camera. And so I left all the trains behind. I did sell one that I bought a couple months back. This is a Trackmaster Thomas & Friends Stephen Rocket working motorized train. Got a little crown on or something. It's kind of cool. I uh, sold that for $22.41 free shipping. So some of those can be really good. A lot of them sell for like 15 bucks. The the Trackmaster motorized ones. A lot of them you get like 15 bucks for. Journey into Mystery I sold. Is it this amazing Thor one? It might be. Hold on, let me just double check. Make sure I got the right one. No, this is the story of a girl who cried a river and drowned the whole world. This is Gruto. Gruta. Remember that song? That was a classic. Looks so sad in photographs. I absolutely love her when she smiles. Okay, this is what's called. Journey into Mystery comic book. This is a 10 cent comic. April, maybe 1967, or maybe it's issue number 67. I can't, I can't tell. I think it's issue number 67, 1961. So that for, that doesn't look right. It says 44.99, but I don't think that's right. 35.99 as the best offer. 20% off, I guess. So $35.99 is not bad. Okay, so comics and such. Dibbed it. Let me talk about dibbed it. <laughs> Which might not roll off the tongue perfectly at first, but when I explain it to you, it's going to make more sense. Dibbed it. We got the the name, the idea for this name as like uh, calling dibs on something. So dibbed it is a website. Me, Kevin, and Carrie's website, actually. Commonwealth Picker and American Arbitrage. What are these things called? Cuties or something? Coodles? I'm trying to remember what I sold on dibdit.com. I sold Dorables. Dorables on Dibdit. D O O R. Let me see if I can find where they're hiding. Dixie Flipper. It's in Dixie Flipper location. Anyway, so I sold these over on dibdit.com. Okay, so dibdit is like calling dibs. Like, I got dibs on front seat, that sort of thing. Um, it's a weird name. It doesn't roll off tongue right away, but I think it's good, and I think it kind of does a good job of like explaining what the website is. It's a new, uh, basically online marketplace like eBay or whatnot or Mercari or Poshmark. All these are online marketplaces. And this is in that same vein. It's an online marketplace, but this time like me, Kevin and Carrie are kind of running it, right? So it's our marketplace. It's hosted on this plat 
platform called District. Here's the adorables I sold over there for 10 bucks plus shipping. Uh, I think Jay's Toy Shop bought that. I think. He did pay shipping, right? Yes. <laughs> $7.55 shipping. I don't remember what I paid for this, but I bought this up in North Carolina recently. So that sold over on dibdit.com for 10 bucks. Now, the whole idea of this district thing, I think it's going to be cool as it grows and stuff, but the concept is people are allowed to kind of create their own marketplace, right? Like, it's kind of like an eBay store, but you can do it with other people. It can be a group marketplace, things like that. It also has this cool thing where it's actually got like an eBay function of buy it nows and a whatnot fu function of uh, live auctions, but it does it well and it combines them well, where you can like literally take your buy it nows and put them up for sale in a live auction. And the live auction feature works almost as good as whatnot. I think give it a little time, it'll get there. Uh, and I do want to try it at some point in the future is try to do a live auction on dibdit.com. But it's just another pl another place we can sell stuff. The other cool thing is people can sell with you on your store. So like you could sign up to sell on dibdit.com if you wanted to, which is neat. And it's just another place you could cross list if you so desired. But we're not trying to get a bunch of sellers on there right now. Eventually, we'll probably try to get more sellers to sell on our platform. But as of right now, me, Kevin, Carrie, and a handful of people who have asked to be on it are selling on there. The cool thing about it, all this to say, is we've tried to focus it on like pop culture, comics, collectibles, kind of like in line with the whole calling dibs on something, right? I call dibs on something and it's going to be like a cool collectible, right? Like a lot of the stuff that I might collect, you know, like this E.T. thing would go on there. That would be a good thing to put up there. This E.T. plushie would make sense on there. Five Nights at Freddy's. I think it's like pop culture, sports, sports collectibles. That sort of stuff is the kind of stuff we're going to sell on dibdit.com. Uh, right now I'm cross-listing. At some point I might only list that sort of thing on there. But as of right now, I'm, you know, leaving it listed on eBay and also posting it on dibdit.com. So anyways, if you want to check out our marketplace, do. Feel free. You can just type dibdit.com. If you use my code ADHD, you save five bucks off your first order on anything you buy in there. I'm trying to be competitive with the pricing in there, but it's just like shopping my eBay store, except you're not going to find things like golf clubs. You're not gonna have to wait through makeup or anything like that. Like it's literally just our collectible stuff, right? Like this hat would be a cool candidate for it. This Miami Dolphins hat. I would not put Avon Ducks on there, right? It's specifically for like cool collectible type items. But I will let you know when I do my first uh, live auction on there because I am gonna do live auctions there as well as whatnot. We'll talk more about it, but I will be doing some live auctions over there at some point and uh, listing more of my cool collectible stuff over there if you want to check it out dibdit.com uh where are we going now i'm tripping on stuff like these these are all on dibdit but this one actually sold on ebay this is uh that monster from star wars he like talks and stuff how do i get him to work i think i might have taken the batteries out what are these called these are called creature what kind of creature is it tauntaun it's a tauntaun from disney world Disney sells this, sells this for like $80. No, $40, I lied. Disney sells this for $40. And I sold it over on eBay for $35.09, free shipping though. So yeah, it's brand new with the with the tag. So someone saved a little bit money from versus buying it at Disney. Oh, I sold another beer tap from that buy. Those are doing good for me. I've bought really bad beer taps before, but this time the ones I bought are selling. Maybe they're newer. This one's like aluminum Bud Light, sold for $20 free shipping on ebay and then out of the american arbitrage bin i sold a tiny little care bear these are good these uh 2003 bedtime ones this little pink one this is uh hugs i think it's called hugs sold it for 25 dollars plus five in shipping so someone paid 30 bucks for this little care bear good christmas gift though if you have a care bear collector that you uh want to get a gift okay let's grab this lighthouse two three I have a lot of orders to ship. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. Uh, I think I'll ship them right after I record this. I'm not going to edit this until later because this doesn't have to come out till Monday. All right. So anyways, the lighthouse that sold, my dad called me. My lighthouse that sold is this one right here. This one sold for $33 free shipping on eBay. So that's pretty good. Uh, what else do we got here? This Halo figure. Oh, man. <laughs> it doesn't take long for Dave to screw something up. So this literally sold. I just saw it sold on Dibdit. And now it's sold on eBay, too. So do I cancel the Dibdit? Or do I... I don't even know how to cancel it on Dibdit. Because it's a new platform for me. This is a Halo Action Figure Master Chief. It sold for the same price on both platforms. $10.49 plus shipping. It actually went to Rich Arms, who's a friend of the show... 
on uh, eBay, and then it went to Gamma. No, FedEx says we weren't able to ship today. Why? I'm home. Exception. Uh, I gotta look into that. That stinks. I guess I'm not getting my graded comic books back. I'm a little disappointed by that. Yeah, I think Gamma Resells ordered it on District. Gamma Rebel. Oh yeah, that's great. I mean, I could drop ship it. I could drop ship it to the District one. I think I'm allowed to do that. Anyways, thank you, Mark, for the order. I appreciate that. And Gamma. So sold that twice. Oh, let me show you uh, Dibbit. Dibbit.com. Dibbed. D i b d. The thing was, we really wanted to get a .com. It's very hard to get a .com. And so I wanted to get dibdit.com and that's what I got. So here it is, I'll show you. They still, the logo is still not showing up properly at the top, but here it's still good. You can see it there. See it says dibdit. And it's got all these collectibles and stuff around it. And you see it's owned by Commonwealth Picker, ADH Dave and American Arbitrage. We have 254 members, 35 sellers. And then this is like all the cool stuff. I love the 80s comic books sports cards disney wrestling cabbage patch then we got some really cool old clothes we got plushes it's basically the stuff me kevin and carrie like graded vhs hats it's cool michael jackson that's really awesome 850 dollars oof too rich for me but it's cool this is listed by joshua cole who is um mojo casher on youtube he's got a channel on youtube and uh, John Cincinnati Picker goes to their shop a lot. They have a lot of really cool items. Anyways, that's our Dibdit Marketplace, dibdit.com. Check out the stuff we're selling if you want. Um, I'm excited about it. I'm excited to do live auctions on there. I think it's going to be really fun to do those. And I'll let you know when I'm going to do my first one. Uh, I hope to do it this week for you guys, Monday. Uh, maybe I'll multi-stream it on this channel so you don't miss it. I don't know. We'll see. That's all the eBay orders. Let's see how much, how much are we at total. Now, this will include the stuff we pulled in the last video. Hopefully it's a lot of mundos. $1,700 in orders while I was on vacation. There's your title right there. I made $1,700 while on vacation. <laughs> not really, but kind of did, right? I, I sold $1,700 worth, but that's not it, right? Because on Mercari, I sold 10 bucks. On Posh, I sold like 80 bucks. On Dibdit, I sold like 20, 30 bucks. So, well, but then some of them are Anyways, either way, $1,700. That's a good number. $1,703. That's it. That's all the orders. Uh, I'm going to stop here. I got to ship all this and I don't have infinite time. So let me work on that. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.